students of Reddit. What is your best school life hack? Find time to get some exercise in. All of that grab and go fast food catches up to you fast. I got fat as in college and have since lost all that weight. I wish I made time to at least squeeze in a 30 minute workout every other day. This isn't an ethical and specific one but it worked wonders. One of the vending machines at school accepted UGR cards as dollar bills. Edit. Thanks for the gold stranger. I turned off my phone for a small nap and come back to this. Edit 2. For those wondering. I found out from a friend. Quizlet is pretty great. Great for finding the entire tests for some reason. If you have lazy teachers. You can google by file type. Using the syntax. Comma file type. PDF name of the textbook I need. Will often give you downloadable versions and save you hundreds of dollars. Plus being able to control a plus F a textbook is a lifesaver. If you need to participate in group discussion but aren't sure about the material. Ask intelligent questions instead of trying to answer what you don't get. It'll buy you time and you'll still be participating. See the professor tar during their office hours if you need extra help understanding something. No one comes to office hours and they're usually really happy to help. For all my fellow commuters out there. Meal prep. You will save so much money by making some rice and chicken at home instead of buying some food every day. I used to buy Subway twice a week as I was at school for a long time of those days. I just started to do meal prep and I feel so much better about not spending that much money anymore. Browse the textbook before the lecture. Or at least skim the introduction and the section headings. It's a lot easier to remember information if you walk into the classroom with a little bit of context. If you don't know how to study. Or have a hard time getting yourself to do homework. Get a friend to buddy with. I ADHD ass can't study to save my life. But if my friend is in the room concentrating on that. I feel like I don't want to be left out. And I'll buckle down so we're on the same page. If you can't manufacture executive function. Peer pressure is fine too. Semicolon. Comma. Semicolon. Edit. For all y'all saying you don't have friends. Friends isn't the point. Grabbing a study partner is the point. It could be a classmate. It could be a sibling. It could be a guy off the internet that you pay $4 an hour to check in regularly and demand scholastic updates during study time. Comma I've actually used that last one to crank out half a novel. Before exam make a copy of all the material you have to know. But change it in the way you would explain it. It helps a lot to learn the subject. Get enough sleep. Seriously. I know it's hard. I know there's not enough hours in the day. But if you're gonna cut anything. It shouldn't be sleep. Sleep more than you study. Study more than you party. Don't spend your school time on Reddit. Which is exactly what I'm doing right now. As someone who just graduated college. Do yourself a favor and actually go to class. You're paying for the chair. If you're in the US. And there is research on a correlation between greater absences equals greater likelihood to fail a course. I know you hate the class. But go. I might literally be begging. Peanut butter can be a meal. Do not leave things to be done just before the deadline. Do it ahead of time. If possible. So you avoid unnecessary stress. Helps me survive. Also. Learn how to manage your time well. Engineering. Attend class and pay attention to the examples. It's fairly silly but it was indispensable to me in college. Especially for my English minor. Paste your syllabi in a very visible location in your home. And write down all of your major due dates on a whiteboard. There's a lot of that goes in in college. So it's really easy to forget sometimes what you have to read or what papers you have to do. Especially for non-math courses. Your assignments will be due in spurts. And it's definitely not as easy to remember as a weekly problem set. So it's best to just have all your assignments easily visible. It pays dividends. 
you've got to play the meter game. If you're lazy and unorganized like me, you won't have time to properly study for everything and complete every assignment. That's when you look at the grade distribution and start with the items that are worth the most. If you're nervous about presenting something or speaking out loud because you're forced to, just know that the majority of students around you feel the same way as you if not worse. That always helped me get over the fear of talking out loud. Wikipedia not working? Type 0 inches front of the W and hit enter. Now you have wiki 0. All Wikipedia format. Just on a different site. Laminate your notes so the tears just roll off. Not OC. On a serious note. This is kind of tie but once I left my charger at the library and it wasn't at the lost and found so I came back a few hours later when a different person was working and asked if they have found a white apple phone charger, which I saw that they had earlier, and they just gave me this charger. Lost a charger and got a new one for free. Did it. Another tip. Try not to buy books from the bookstore. You buy more expensive books and then when you sell them back the store will only give you 30% of its actually value for it then they will resell the same book for 100% of the price next semester. I've been able to find all of my textbooks as a PDF file online. Do your homework at lunch. I do it in high school and now I have so much time to emster but and not have a social life. Don't pull an all nighter. It'll be easier to get up early and continue the next day. Edit. I mean don't wait till the night before to start the project assignment. I mean if you still have 2-3 days till it it's due cut yourself off at 10-11. If you've waited till the night before you've had yourself and do what you want. Go to the same school and have the same teachers as your perfect brother and perfect sister. You will skate by and get special treatment. And leave high school with a false sense of entitlement and ability. Throw yourself into the course. Network like a maniac. Help out on projects that are tied to professional businesses. Volunteer. Long gone are the days of being paid to start the best band in the world. You are paying for a service so get the most out of it. Or don't go and get a job instead. Master that. Make cash money. Train and get qualifications. Or about with a minimum wage job. Do the festivals. Travel. Hike up mountains and camp under the stars. Join the greatest band in the world or learn to paint. Do something while you learn what people really want to do. Mostly? Wear sunscreen. If you want to use Wikipedia when writing an academic essay, just cite the sources that Wikipedia cites. Not only does it reduce your workload a lot, but it makes it look like you've done a ton of reading during your research which your professor will be really impressed by. My grades get better the more I go to class. It's really weird. Put your phone away completely when studying. The biggest issue I had in school was getting distracted by Twitter. Facebook. Reddit. Text messages. Emails. Etc. There was always something going off and I'd spend 10 minutes in my phone. Out it down. Get a notification and waste another 10 minutes. Sleep more than you study. Study more than you socialize. Socialize as much as possible. Read the Sundra did actually. But I can't remember the source. Slater. Gives you any textbook answers you need. Former student here. Since leaving school I've looked back and realized that the best, most useful hack that I never utilized is work hard, study, and take it seriously. Even if you don't go to college, learn a trade, set your future self up for success. Record lectures on your phone and listen to them while studying for tests. So many times in lectures you get so caught up in taking notes that you completely miss things the professor says. I've picked up on so many things that I totally missed in the notes but heard the professor say it in the recording. Also takes pressure off you to take crazy fast notes. Slater. Com has every answer to most textbooks. If you wanna listen to music discreetly feed your headphones under your shirt and up your sleeve. Or just keep a bluetooth speaker in the crotch of your pants and blast your 6x99. 
coordinate with your friends to make pack up noises 10 minutes before the end of class. If you get enough people to do it you'll reach critical mass. Everyone will start packing up and you'll get out of class 10 minutes early. Edit. Lighting up folks. I'm not suggesting everyone do this all the time every time. You're there to learn. Don't want to go to class. Don't go. But that one special occasion where everyone wants to get out a few minutes early for some special event? Have at it. Or. You'll off the professor and they'll be a hard ass about letting people out or will use those 10 minutes to give a pop quiz. I've seen it happen before. Just go to class. If you will be late to another one. Talk to both professors and explain the situation. They're usually understanding. If they aren't. See if you can change your schedule. Giver. Genuinely giver and participate. If I sent high school. You are paying to be there. If you participate actively. You will grasp new concepts and retain more information more easily. Only the dropouts are too cool in college. Try and cook a meal a day. Or like cook once for lunch for the next 3 days. It saves so much money plus is a great way to feel productive when you don't feel like studying. It's not that hard as well. Say you have an 8 page paper due. But you've only written about 7 pages. Use the find and replace function in your word processor to replace all periods with slightly larger ones. So if your paper specifies 12 pt font. Change the periods to 14 pt. This will likely get you to your 8 pages. And is very hard to detect in a hard copy. Pro tip. Do not use this trick if your papers are submitted electronically. Your teacher can much more easily spot the change and then you're busted. Not really a hack. But if you wanna easily with some of your classmates and teachers do what I do with my friends. It's easier in the computer lab but what we do is we'll go on YouTube and search up white noise of an airplane cabin. We'll play it as loud as we can and usually no one will notice. After a while we'll just shut off the white noise and there'll be an eerie uncomfortable silence that everyone notices. Go above and beyond when possible. Talk to your professors after class office hours. Write more than the minimum requirement on essays. Go over any given course materials a professor gives you and inquire about those. If you present yourself as an exceptional student with enthusiasm regarding any given subject. Most professors will be more inclined to give you a higher grade. This is coming from someone who currently has a 4.0 average as a junior. Go to class and answer questions and your professor will go out of their way if you ever need their help. If you're high when you study. Get high before the test. Try to avoid stress. Turn in homework on time or before. Study for tests. Get enough sleep. Stuff like that. If the teacher doesn't arrive for 15 minutes then you can just leave. Pro tip. You can actually leave whenever you want to and don't really have to go to class at all if you don't want to. Fortimuth is more of a homework thing still us full when you're lazy. Get your hands on the test bank. Publishers release the textbook along with study guides and test banks to universities. 9. 9 stroke 10 times. Professors use the multiple choice and even long answers directly from the test bank. It's probably not ethical but it's definitely not illegal. My professors made 6 figures by copying and pasting their exams. If they can't take the time to write their own exams and test banks are easily accessible then I don't feel very bad for getting 95% on my exam. Paying attention in class and not cheating in homework and tests allows you to actually pick up on the material you are learning. Consolidate each syllabus into a single calendar. I am lazy and I suck at working ahead. One hour up front saved my ass so many times. You probably have 3 exams on the same day during week 8. Figure that out now. Also. Read your textbook before class. It will lead to less time studying overall and better grades. The lazy woe man reads the chapter before class. It is wisdom. Not smarts. You will understand more and have questions in class. Long walks with hand drawn and colored flashcards was the only way I was able to study. By doing not sitting and reading. 
A's get praise. But C's get degrees. Where I live you need certain grades due to certain degrees. Save reports and essays so that you might be able to reuse them later. 3 page essay about an open ended topic? Just turn in the thing you wrote for last year's short fiction class. Be sure to proofread. Check and make sure it fits the current assignment and make some changes if needed. Won't work very often. But keep everything in case you have the opportunity. Full stop. Edit. See comments below. This is unethical and may result in disciplinary action from your university. So. Use caution. Understand this is an ethical advice. Be careful with this one. Though. That's almost certainly a violation of your university's policy. So make sure you're adjusting things enough that you don't raise red flags. Junior year of high school. I found out that seniors who failed classes just had to do a packet to get the credits of any classes they failed. So. Senior year. I did the packets for the classes that were required but I didn't want to take and signed up for only fun classes instead. IDK man that sounds sus. Always wake up bright and early. So that you can ask your parents if they can take you in an hour after you've finished napping. Download the mark schemes used for past papers and pick apart what the examiner is looking for as revision. Most exam boards in the UK. For GCSEs at least used to be fairly easy to come by. Not sure if that is still the case. If the teacher uses PowerPoint, and assuming it's not automatically online somewhere. Perhaps ask for a copy of the presentation. Some teachers are willing to hand out copies of their own lesson notes prep, depending on level subject how nice they are, which I found really helpful. If you've got a big project. Don't leave it to the last minute. Go to class. Do the work. Learn the stuff. Everyone knows you can't use Wikipedia as a reference. But if you scroll to the bottom of any Wikipedia article, you will find a plethora of sources to reference legitimately. To reduce stress. Complete assignments as soon as they are assigned. Google has a search engine for colleges. Slater has answers to almost every textbook problem with explanations. Eat I'm breakfast and eat a lot of if. Don't kill yourself after school do what you enjoy. Don't do too many drugs. Jewel and school cause it's cool. Use your own study hall idiot. Don't study with other people if you just get distracted. Coffee is healthy. Don't get addicted to a Daryl. If you think you're depressed or suffer anxiety go see a consoler or psychologist. Run. Keep your student ID card. Oftentimes. Lots of businesses will honor the college discount if you have the card on you. Close bracket. Source. Graduated back in 2015. Wall from Alpha. Past exams and assignments. Scan or take pics of readings chapters from the required text with your phone tablet so you don't need to buy the book. Building a rapport with the prof and teaching assistants. Semicolon. Semicolon. Put cheese in a glue stick as a snack for later. Take notes even if you never look at them later. Take notes while you complete your readings. It'll help cement things in your brain to summarize and paraphrase the key points of the content. Start early. Scan what's coming up so you know approximately how much time the next reading chapter assignment will take and plan your schedule accordingly. Don't let yourself be stuck rushing cramming or nighting any more than you need to. Don't let the fear of a looming task freeze you into procrastination. When it comes time to midterms and finals. Recognize when you've done all that you can. Cramming isn't going to achieve much for you. And there always comes a point where if you keep going you're going to freak yourself out and you're not gaining anything. Use that time to relax and rest so you're alert and ready come the exam. 